Why, hello there, everyone. Welcome to the very first episode of Dylan's Rolling Western, The Last Ranger. <laughs> Let's, uh, uh, you know, I don't even know what to say here. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> This playthrough has been a long time coming. Um, let's just get into it. Let's launch the title. And yeah, um, <laughs> I've been making myself real busy. Whee, that's such a nice tone to start everything off with. And of course, just like the last game, you start off, get to the start menu by rolling in. Oh man, that was really epic. <laughs> so I've already did a little bit of a bit of play for my first save data. We're going to start fresh on a new game. Yeah, we're going to start fresh on a new data file. I've only played seven hours of, of test play. Just kind of seeing how things seem. Lots of things are very similar to the first game, which is great. There are some updated things, which is also very good to note. And I think I'll have to go into a full detail on Another video on that, but if I see, if I see it, I'll briefly mention it. Let's begin. Now I am a dominant left hand, but I love using the circle pad to move around. That so uh, that's the thing. So I'm gonna keep with right. Okay, so we just need to enter a name for this. I really don't know what to give myself a name for. I've always called myself Dennis, and I don't think it does anything to the game when you type in a name. I don't think they use your name anywhere. It's just for Street Pass. Which, considering things, I don't think we are going to be using that much Street Pass. <laughs> no need to go out very much. I can't name it the same as the other one. Um, let's go with... Let's go with Menace. That way you save Dennis, go together, you can look, make Dennis Menace. Haha! <laughs> anyway, that's not, probably not that interesting or important. So let's... Yes, let's... We are okay with Dennis. All right then. So we, I guess using the street pass, you can exchange map strategy and play a profile. Your map ideas may help other people to speak to stage. You're having trouble, so try it. Okay, well, I think we'll do fine. All right, let's begin. I haven't seen that before. View item reference. But we can't use it right now, obviously. Yeah, and they also have regular stars and these other stars that I haven't figured out yet. I haven't played enough in the of my test playing to find out what that one is. I guess it has something to do with the Rangers. Anyway, it's been almost four minutes and we've just been on one screen. <laughs> so we better get going. Let's start the actual gameplay. Now, one thing I must say about the update to the graphics, everything looks really crisp. I don't know if it's 30 FPS or 60. But my computer can only handle 30 from what I understand from what OBS is telling me. So we we are gonna stick with 30 frames per second for capturing. Anyway, we got a letter from Governor Cappy. Dylan Russ, strange things are going on in Beginsville. It may be nothing, but be here on your be on your toes. I don't know why. <laughs> this is the way he looks, he's very, very Hispanic looking. All right. Anyway, okay, Dylan. Let's start with one thousand coins. Let's begin, and we'll just do with the regular beginning stuff. Under the blazing sun and choking dust, the pioneers of the old west forged an era with their blood and sweat. One day, the lives of these pioneers were disrupted by sudden rock monsters attacks. Fortunately, a young rebel and his sidekick took up the cause and saved the frontier. After their head, after their hard-brought victory, the heroes returned home and banked their reward. But they could not get accustomed to life of peace and quiet, so they disappeared into the wild badlands of the old west. A year has passed since the last attack by the rock monsters. The leader of the rest and pioneer villages sent out pleas to the east for help. Meanwhile, Dylan, the Red Flash, and his sidekick Russ sensed trouble smoldering in the ominous evening glow. 
And so the fearless young ranger headed back to civilization to restore hope to the frontier villages. All right, main stage zero. The Red Flash returns. Bienvenidos, senores. Long time no see, muchachos. Cappy Turno, I mean, Governor Cappy. It sure has been a while. He's a governor now, well, that's cool. Dylan? Say hi, at least. Dylan, come on! <laughs> ho ho, that Dylan. He hasn't changed the slightest. He's still silent as ever. Sorry to cut to the chase, but our situation is a tad more pressing than I thought. I changed his accent a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I see. It's starting again, isn't it? See, Grok dens are erupting all over the frontier. They'll likely start raiding here tonight. They'll make a beeline for the village's herd of Skrogs. That's correct. They'll be coming to eat the Skrogs for certain. If we lose all the Skrogs, it will mean the end of this frontier village. Zero Skrogs means game over. Yeah, we, we understand that, and it's important because it's in red text. <laughs> Just as before, that gives us may extra incentive to guard them. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is getting... <clears throat> uh-huh. <laughs> That's about the size of it. So, senores, you've got your work cut out for you, uh... Andale! Hey buddy, before the Skrogs attack, let's help the pioneers raise some more Skrogs. The Skrogs will multiply if you feed them lots of their favorite grub, Scruffles. Let's gather up as many Scruffles as we can and donate them to the villagers. Enlarging the Skrog herd will allow the village to hold out that much longer. Again, important because it's in red text. <laughs> but first, we have to pick some scruffles. Let's get moving, buddy. All right, partner. Our first scrap in a while. Shall we I review the dash roll? Mm, I don't really think that's necessary, but I guess we should just go through it real quick. Dylan will roll into a ball when you hold the stylus touchscreen. Oh, maybe I should do it in the rest voice. Dill will roll into a ball when you hold the stylus to on the touchscreen. Without lifting it, slide the stylus back. And then release the stylus to make Dylan roll forward. You, st you slide the stylus on the touchscreen and, and, and then lift it to roll. You don't want to hear the exp- Do you want to hear the explanation again? What? No. We didn't even really need to for the first time, honestly. By the way, if you just hold the stylus in one spot on the touchscreen, you'll put on the brakes. Give it a try. I thought it was also the L button. Oh, as I miss. Alright, brakes. Oh, I see. Yeah, we slow down. Okay, so well, we're basically it's day one. We're gathering resources. We're gathering the scruffles, like said before. But we also need to gather mine. Here's a mine. Mine, not yours, but mine. All right, Ranger's Guide. Mine locations change on a daily basis. If you find one, get digging at once. All right, so to dig, we just go up to these pounds, mounds of stuff, and just. I guess... Oh, I don't have access to the grind attack yet, do I? I wonder when I get that. Because with the grind attack, you get a lot more resources. Well, okay. 
That's gonna make this first day pretty difficult. A little more difficult than before. Dylan, let me see you use your claw brake. Just press the L button while rolling. It looks really cool. Uh, you mean... Ow. Yeah, let's get the other scruffle. And then claw break. Look at that. Alright, now for the next thing. I usually just pick one side and then go around to everything else. Use multiple weak attacks when mining. The more hits you score, the more items you'll dig up. Yeah, see with the grind attack it's a bit better because you take a hit, you make hits every time. What, Dylan doesn't want to go for a swim? I mean, just kidding. Alright, there's also another thing to look out for and that's those ruins over there. You, I can see one up there, but uh, we'll have to get that later. Usually, the ruins will have something special in there. Like, usually it's a piece of heart, or a expensive rock, a rock that you could sell for lots of coin. So, that's why they're important. You need to gather as much hearts as you can. Well, okay. And, yeah, Gun Tower 3. Alright, another one mine. Alright, well that helped. Got a little bit of something going on here. Alright, so far I haven't seen another... ...ruin. Oh man, I missed the pepper. If I got that pepper, would've got all those scru scruffles. I don't know if I want to try again, because like... I'm not good at the rule of number 36, aim. Oh, I got one of them, see? <laughs> I didn't really aim that well. Oh well, here we go. And now, I bet that pepper is gone and we can't try again, so... Normally I wouldn't have time to go and look and try again anyway. Well, that was a whole lot of nothing. What was the point of that one? Alright, well, that helped. Uh, because, you know, well, the more of the mit mining materials we gather, the more we are able to block the doors. Okay. Looks like we're back. To the start of the place. And if you notice, there's rail trade tracks there. Let's go to the ruin. <laughs> That's not exactly what I had in mind. Alright, so when you're in here, you just gotta keep rolling. Just rolling as much as you can quickly to get the door down. It takes a couple... Tr Sometimes it, it took me a, f a couple tries the first time I'd done it, so... Now that I got the hang of it, though, you can too. All right, Ranger Guide. Treasures can be found in the ancient ruins. Like like this. I've already mentioned. <laughs> I'm done. And we got ourselves a piece of heart. Collect three. Right? Collect three and we get a new heart container. Kind of like Zelda. I think of Zelda, though, you need only need two. But you know, whatever. Details, details, all right. So, let's go up the middle. I knew I saw, there's usually three ruins within a place. And I think I saw one over here. No, I guess I'm wrong. Mistaken. Well, Maybe it was on this rock ridge. Yep, there it is. 
Yeah, there's usually three, so this is two out of three. I might have to find the last one later. <laughs> but for now, let's see, what is it gonna be? Okay, a nice rock called Serpentine? Serpentine, maybe? Maybe that's what it's called? I don't know, perhaps? Oh, and now the sky has turned red. <laughs> Hey, look at the sky! The village will be at locked during a raid. If you've got business in the village, do it now. Okay, well, I don't see any other... Um, oh, mines. There's one over there. It's on the way back to the village, so... Oh, is there a way down? Uh-oh. 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 Um, I need down. I need down. Oh yeah, there's the way down. Oh hey, look! More scuffles. Alright, let's run back to that village right now. <laughs> because if we get locked out before we can do any of the resources stuff, then oh, we're in trouble. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, phew. <laughs> that was a little bit nerve-wracking. Dylan, be sure to sell gems and other items you don't need to get extra money. All right, we're going to donate. We got 105. Nice. Gracias, more scrogs makes the whole village feel more safe and secure. Alright, let's build the fences. There's only two gates. Well, I need also need to look up and see where is the best place to put up um, towers. Generally speaking, where towers are concerned, the ones that are already built are best because they don't cost as much money. But you should look, and the way, I, uh, I'll get into that maybe. Let's see here. Yeah, we only have enough to f almost partially fill one. So let's fill this guy up. As I was saying, we'll we'll see what which tower is clo nearest. But let's just sell some of these items here. All right, I'm buying. I do not want to buy. Let's go back. Okay, well these things are. A decent amount of money, the pebble bubbles. And let's of course sell that for 300. All right, I personally love using Gatling guns. That's my preference, but yeah, there's nothing there. Okay. No need to practice skills. We got the skills. Dylan, if you have any a chance, try to protect the towers too. The towers are operated by some young folk who are itching to fight alongside you. Yeah, they're all foxes. Or are they wolves? Yeah, they're wolves. My mistake. Alright, watchtower. Wait, did I miss one? Oh well, we'll, we'll get it for next time. Alright. Here's a gun tower that's already built. Usually the ones nearest the village are the best, because you're going to be near the village. Most of the time. And if they're already built, that's good. That's at least for your, when you're first starting out. There is a guide on GameFAQ.com. It will help you tell you what the best places are for each stage and for towers and what to use at each tower to help you get five stars. We're not we're not gonna we're not trying to get five stars. We're just trying to get by. <laughs> so I I will put a link in the description to that site though, if you guys are interested in doing five a five star run. But uh, for us, we just really have to look and see what we need to do. I'm guess I don't yeah. I suppose I should be reading this guy's uh his <laughs> guy this guy's words. And we need to decide what gun to use. We'll shoot at enemies that come in a line of fire. So we have to look and see what the line of fire is every time we select something. Cause each yeah. So let's see, what are our orders? We're not gonna repair, that's for later. We aren't going to build either. Wood is generally good 
Let's equip a weapon though. I only have enough for a shotgun. But we can see what the other ones do. See the shotgun, and then there's the cannon. The cannon's right aimed at a <laughs> den. So that, that might be beneficial. But, since all we can afford is a shotgun, we're just gonna have to go with shotgun. But I think I would prefer to have a Gatling gun at this place. But, you know, what we we can take we we take what we get, you know? Alright, let's let's continue on. Is there another tower that's nearby? Yeah, that's a watchtower. Just trying to look at the bottom map here. Okay, well anyway. The Grok's raid is about to begin. They'll eat the Scrogs if they get into the village. But if you could defeat some first, then Less damage to the village means more money for you! But if all the Scrogs get eaten... It's game over for us! Now, let's show them what we're made of! Now the doors are closed. We can't go back into the village. And there's our rock monsters. Okay. Foot grok. That's not really all that new. Oh, he seems to want to go down. I'm more like oh, weak grok. You know what? Let's go after the weak grok. Whatever's closest to the village is usually what you go after. That's just the best strategy. Oh good, I'm able to access the claw attack already. Good. Claw attacks are... is really the best attack to utilize because it damages them quickly. See how quickly I did that? Like, oh my gosh. Now, what else is near the village? Oh, <laughs> I'm running away from him. Turns out, I, it's a benefit to look at the bottom screen sometimes, you know? They appear to all be coming out of that one den there. So that means, that would be a good place to have a gun tower. Sometimes aiming is a little difficult in this game, <laughs> but you know. There we go. Another one? Down. Now watchtowers are also handy because they can get they can show you where things where grocks are throughout the entire map because there's some grayed out areas that we can't see on account that we don't have any towers pointed towards them. Right, there's another one near my gun tower. We gotta protect that gun tower too. Alright, here's another fun attack. If we let this bar fill up. We can hit a bunch of them at once. Oh, he wasn't in range of that. Oh well, whatever. Where's the other one? Oh, there he is. <laughs> there we go. He's like, now once you walk out of these lines that were there for a moment, you can escape the battle, if need be. Usually there is not a need to do so. Woo! The jump! Now I bet this guy has been wandering a long ways. Cool. He didn't need a heart, but I'll take it. Now the foot rocks seem to have a bit more damages to take. <laughs> oh yes, you can also destroy the environment around you sometimes. That helps with collecting coin or other items to sell. Not in that case, <laughs> fortunately, but you know, that's how it goes. All right. Okay, I think I see another guy on the bottom screen over here. 
Let's just follow this road. Oh, there is a gun tower there. I probably should put something there. Maybe after I have some money to do so. Wow, these guys... This guy has four of those guys. Well, one, only one weak one. Oh, never mind. Two weak ones. I can't count. There we go. And of course, the more continuous hits you get, the better rewards you have, you obtain as well. That's gun tower five. Okay. Uh oh. All right, there's some guys on the road towards our village. So we gotta take care of this group real fast. Okay, and there's another one heading towards our gun tower as well. They're all coming at once. Oh gosh, come on. Okay, they're heading toward my gun tower, so I better go towards that first. Maybe I should have took care of those other guys too. Now they're all closer. <laughs> Alright, well anyway, claw attack time. That took care of that one. We have another one to deal with. So there's only four left and they're all real close together. Oh, Gun Tower 7 wiped out a target. Well, that's cool. Let's... Let's go. <laughs> Let's go to the next thing. Oh, that was a nasty. Right, yeah, they're outside the gate. We better get the last one. Whew. Almost did not get the reward. That. Come on, turn around. I think they still stick to the road for the most part, these rock monsters. That should be the entire fight. Yeah, we just our hat a little bit. Okay, defended. We saved the village. Usually that's how it is for the first day, typically. So we got all our scrogs. Okay, you might have noticed something happen earlier. VC bonuses. Those are when you do certain things throughout the day. I think we got one for being a ground, a rock hunter. I believe that's what it was. I don't, I don't know if we got any other ones, <laughs> but that's a new thing. We, we can collect bonus points from doing certain tasks. I think I'll have to go over a, in a video what those certain tasks are. Anyway. That's for a later time. Let's finish viewing our rewards and then do the rest. Well, Dylan, that was some serious fighting. Thanks to your efforts, the village didn't suffer much. I'm delighted no one was hurt. That's very important. Of course. It was also thrilling to witness your fighting skill. Buddy, come take a look at this. I jotted down a few notes and created a report about the result of our battles. Results of our battles? I figured this know-how would help us plan for tomorrow's fight. Muy buen. If I didn't know better, I think you two were professionals. 
<laughs> but of course, you do know better, and we're not professor. I'm just kidding. After all, the Grocks will attack for two more days. So you need to plan ahead. Oh, one more thing, Dylan. There's a private room on the other side of that curtain in the back of the saloon. Some town folks have quests you can take on there. If you do what they ask, you'll earn extra dinero. Go see what they want, if you're so inclined. Okay, well, bonuses, and of course we can also eat if we need to replenish hearts. We don't. And of course, there's Sal. The Salamander. Yes, it's been a while. Why am I giving him the same voice? I'm Sal, the wandering weapons salesman. I heard you were in town, so I scurried over. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to sell just yet. But I assume you'll be tussling with the Grox for a while, hmm? Believe me, the last thing a seller of weapons such as myself wants to see is his best customer perishing in battle. I'll be watching you while you work to make sure I stock the exact gear you'll need to be successful. If you want to polish up your skills, try practice skills. Yeah, I have nothing to sell you now. If you want to polish up, yeah, okay. We did that line already. Boop, boop. Nope, I don't need to practice skills. Let's go see what the quests are and take them on. Madam Crokey's bubble bobbles. Oh, I guess I didn't, shouldn't have sold those bubbles. Oh well. Ribbit, I'm Madam Crokey. Out here on the frontier, a lady like me must have ways to show her social standing. I think a lovely necklace made of three pebble bubbles would be just the thing. If you bring me three pebble bubbles, I will reward you most handsomely. Pebble bubbles should be easy to find, just smash rocks when you're mining. Okay. Yeah, we'll take it on. We'll take that quest, it'll be easy to find. Fabulous, darling. I'm counting on you, Ribbit. Don't know what I was doing with her voice, but anyway. Hero returns. Rachel, the news reporter here, looking for a big story. Haven't seen you in a while. Oh, I had a job as an intern, but I got bored sitting at a desk, so I'm back in the field. Anyway, I heard tell you can defeat three boss grocks single-handedly. At least that's the rumor. Can't write it up until I've corroborated my resources. I'm thinking of using a Hero Returns as the headline, if you still have what it takes. Do you think you can show me your skills and time to meet the deadline, my next deadline? Sure we can. It's good to see that you're still so self-confident. I'm counting on you. All right. Oh, -ho, Ranger, you got here just in time. Hi, Miss Dylan, remember me? I think I gave all the kids the same voice. I, I appreciate all the help you gave us last year, but my son is feeling ill again. His skin is losing its luster. I'm shriveling up like a raisin. If I had some slide berries from down by the water, I could make tea. I'm sure it would soothe his skin, but obviously I'm too busy caring for him to go. I beg of you, please bring some slide berries for my poor boy. Okay, by the water's edge, you'll have to remember that for when I record next time. <laughs> Thanks, Ranger. Son, we'll have you feeling better in no time. Alright, well, those are the quests. Alright, well, let's see what, what Russ has to show us. I usually don't really look at these too much. So, here's today's battle report. Alright. So it ends up being on the bottom screen, and you toggle that on to see where most of the creatures go for. 
go to, rather, words. It doesn't help that it covers where the thing is on the screen. It doesn't help at all. Alright, destroyed. It did one. <laughs> Hub status. It's at full health. That's good. So yeah, we can check everything for we have here. It's Gun Tower 6. That would probably be a good place to put something, something there as well. So I think that's where I'm going to build next. Actually, I should see what its range of fire is. If I could tap it... There we go. No, oh, it's not letting me because I don't have anything on there. So it looks like we're going to have to build this tower. The next gun tower that's up is this one. Hmm. I think it's still be better to have it close, have a gun tower closer to the village than that. Anyway, that's kind of all the information you can really get from there. Is unless anyone has any other ideas of what is is best that these reports are for, it just shows you where the gun towers are basically, and how many grocks have been defeated by them. All right. Well, anyway, we're gonna go upstairs and end the day. So we can save and end the episode. Dylan, I've got something for you. In anticipation of your activity here, a blacksmith made these just for you. I think we can finally use grind attack. Awesome. They're spikes. You can use them starting manana. I think that means tomorrow. And I believe with the spikes they allow you to use the grind attack, which we'll get into in the next episode. All right, save up and thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will, <laughs> hopefully you're enjoying this video. And if you enjoy what you see, perhaps subscribe and sort of thing, all that sort of stuff. We will see you in the next video where we we'll take on day two of Beginsville. I think that's what the name of this place is called. All right, bye for now.